Hello, thank you for joining me. What I'd like to do in this film is, uh, is put in a, a couple components. We're going to put in a couple pieces of furniture in here. We're going to put in a sliding door back here in this corner, which is where it was in the apartment. And then we're going to put a, probably a door in here so you can see how uh, to put in a door. Windows going in a very similar manner. I probably won't show you how to do that, but I want you to uh, consult with the book in regard to that. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go back to our level one view, our plan view, and uh, yeah. Let's insert a door. So go to home, go to door, and what we'd like to do is uh, we can use uh, the stock doors that they have. We want a 36 inch by 84 inch uh, front door, but uh, for the interior doors, they're going to have to be smaller than that. So we're looking at a 30 inch uh, door. So let's go ahead and do a 30 by 84 inch door. And this one's going into the bedroom, so what we want to do is flip it to that side. You just have to make sure that when you put in your door that you can flip it back and forth depending on where the cursor is on that wall. And you want to make sure that the door is opening up in the proper orientation. You want to kind of make it open up this way. So the swing of the door goes into the closet and not into the bed. So open it up that way. And it's ready to go. You can change those dimensions just like we changed the dimensions on the wall. And that should be in pretty good shape. Let's put in another door. So go to door. This time we want a sliding door so we're going to load a family and go to the door uh, folder in the families what we want is a sliding door, a sliding two panel door and this goes out to a deck that's out here and I want to get the biggest door I can so I think a 72 by 84 is probably the biggest we have which is good, 84 inches is consistent with the height of this door so let's go ahead and do that click on that come over here we're going to make sure the orientation of the door is correct so I'm going to exaggerate this and make it incorrect just to show you how to correct it and remember when you do that it automatically cuts the walls out as you saw in the plan view but let's click on the door itself and remember these symbols it allows you to flip the orientation of the wall it allows you to flip the orientation of the doors too we're going to make sure the outside of the door is outside so the water doesn't go inside when you're inside coming in from outside something like that so anyways let's go ahead and click on that puts it on the outside which is correct and that's, that's our door windows you want to make sure you have a certain sill height with the window so go ahead and read the book and uh, follow up and uh, what you need to do for the windows. And uh, right now we're going to put in some furniture. So this is a new button. Walls, doors, you're going to cover windows in the book. And then uh, component, we're going to click on component. And we're going to pick some components. Some of these components aren't going to be uh, here. There's a lot of landscaping components already embedded in here. We have a desk. You know, we could probably put in a student desk if you like. But just for the moment, let's, let's do choose that desk and put it over here, maybe over in this wall. We don't like the orientation, spacebar, allows it to flip. And we're not certain what the front of that is, so we're going to check that with the camera view in just a moment. And escape a couple times. Let's go back to component. Place a component. Let's load a family. Go to the furniture tab. And see what kind of uh, family members we want. What we'd like to do is get a, a couch and uh, a chair that might go with that. So here it is, a sofa. There's a preview of the sofa. Here's a different kind of sofa. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's kind of Art Deco in a way. Yeah, let's choose that guy. It might give us some options. There may only be one option available. There's a 60, uh, 65 foot, or 65 inch and 84 inch. But choose the 84 inch, the 70, uh, the seven foot couch, and put that into place. And one last component, maybe a chair. So let's go to load family. Go to uh, furniture. Not a furniture system, but furniture, furniture system, or components like uh, maybe office cubicles and whatnot. That's not a very attractive chair. That is, though. I like that. Let's put that chair in here. And we'll put it here. Space bar. Now we know what the orientation of that is. And we'll put that, let's just put that over here, kind of facing the couch a little bit. Okay, those are three components. How do you verify this? Remember how uh, we begin to verify our model by using uh, various elements like the, the section view, the 3D view. One good way of doing that is the camera view, and that's the last thing I'm going to show you here. If we go to the view tab, go to the 3D view, scroll down to camera. We're going to take a camera and plant it here and kind of point it off in that direction so we can take a look at the desk, the chair, the couch, and our sliding glass door. And that kind of shows us what uh, what's there. We can take our camera view, actually, and move that around. It looks like our desk is in the right place, although the desk probably should be moved away from the wall a little bit. Sometimes you can modify that by pressing uh, the, the arrow keys. Let's go back to level one and uh, click on that. 
And if you want to move that, arrow keys help a little bit. Maybe move it away from the wall. It doesn't necessarily have to be permanently attached to the wall. If you want to go back to the camera view, go to your 3D view section. This 3D view, you're going to have to rename that. If you right click, go to rename. It gives you the, the, the ability to do that. For now, we're just going to click on it and take a look at it. And that's in pretty good shape. If you want to make it a little bit more realistic, go to the realistic button. Okay, we'll save our project. It kind of gives us a 3D perspective. So it gives us the ability to lay out a room, lay out our furniture in a room, and take a peek inside of that room to make sure everything looks good. Okay, that's enough for this video. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you in class.